Hey everybody, this is Coffee Cake, and this is version 0.1 of our treasure mapping tool that Leah and myself have created. Uh, so a little background, uh, I'm sure you've seen. I have a lot of maps. I think right now I'm somewhere in the 40s of active treasure maps. Because of that, I needed to create a tool to help solve the, t the traveling salesman problem. And with Leah's help, we've created a tool and now we're sharing it with all of you. Uh, this will allow you to populate one table with map links of all your active maps. And it will actually plot on the respective map where those data points should be. So without further ado, uh, this is the simple explanation tab of the link. Um, it'll be shared. So initial setup, uh, you'll see that there's a bunch of tabs uh, down at the bottom. Uh, right now, ver zero, version 0 0.1 is just for PVE on Northern on NFI. Uh, next version and versions down the road are going to hopefully encapsulate and include both SFI, the PVP servers, both the one, both Chaos and Defiance and Epic. Uh, this allows us to linearly scale but for right now we needed to set our target kind of small and that's how we settled on just doing the pve servers on the north uh so important steps to note uh the very first thing you need to do is create a copy and put it on your own google drive uh that's step one under the initial setup uh step two you'll actually go to this coordinate coordinate data tab and where you see the yellow um right now they're populated as three of the starting villages on one on each of the maps um you can actually put your own deed there and if we cycle over here to cadence real quick you can see that it actually plots a point so you can see that that's where the home tab is so given that um once you go back let's go back to the introduction uh now that you have your home your home point saved and this will be changing in future versions but for right now this is how it's set up and then set your step three is you actually go to the map entry tab and you'll see what looks like a really intimidating spreadsheet it's is pretty basic um we use a five a three digit numbering scheme uh, right now this tool is set up for 500 maps uh we don't recycle numbers so once you use a number and I'm, this is kind of how we're setting it up. Uh, once you use a number, it never gets reused. Uh, so it actually will stay in here in perpetuate, per perpetuality. Uh, so step one, you'll actually put in, well, we'll just call it a 29 quality map and we'll call it rare. And this column is actually optional. Uh, the map image, this is how I communicate and this is how and any, if you look over here on the example map tab, this is kind of how it's set up. Uh, I put either the tower or the Imgur link. Um, I take a snip of what the exam or what the hint is, where it is on the map, and I actually post it to Imgur. And then I actually load it into here for future reference. And then from there, the most important part of the whole tool is that you get your cadence map log or data off of the host website. So this tool takes that link right there and will actually correlate. So here, let's go like this. We'll go like this and take map zero one. And we will actually place it right there. So by doing that, if you go over to the cadence tab, you will see that map zero one is now plotted where it should be on the map. When you go through and put in all of your maps, uh, your tool will look something a little closer to this. So this is what my current current map log is. Uh, note I've got 43 maps in here. Uh, let me go here. This is what my current map entry looks like. And as I go in, I put another step and I put the location or Leah, who typically solves my maps for me. Uh, puts the location in and then the most important column is probably P uh, under treasure So important thing to note that when you put something in this column, you could put an Imgur link I do that to put the treasure, but it, you could literally just write done and 
that will call, tell the tool to go through and not show that data point on the map. So you could easily go through and look on the cadence map that, or you can take my word for it, that uh, map 04 doesn't exist anymore. So now once now all of your data is entered, and how do I use it? And how do I recommend using it for the novice user or the advanced user? So once all your map data is entered, I come to this spread. I come to this map. That's it's essentially a scatter plot plotted on top of an image, and I can pick out clusters of maps. And from there, say I'm say I'm at my deed. Uh, so this one's actually set up for Encore and not set up for my home yet. Um, let's we can actually fix that if I go like this. And give me one second. I gotta click. I have to click right there. Like this. Bear with me. We're actually going to fix it on the spot. And by switching there, right there. Uh, now you look that the home is now moved to where Cake Dream Headquarters is actually on the map. So from here, I look to see where do I have a good cluster of maps. And I got a good population down here. I've got a large grouping up here. Uh, tonight, we're actually going to come down here and let's say start with map 11. So I come over here and I click. And when I click this link, it'll redirect me to where it actually is on the map. And from there, that's how I travel. So that's in essence how this works. Uh, again, um, I, I'm sure there are going to be bugs and problems. If anybody sees one, uh, I'll actually be posting this on the forums later. Uh, please post in the post in there and let us know, and we will update it moving forward. Um, it is my intention that when the new map dumps for 2023 come out, that I will upload or update the backing files. So that all of the most up-to-date maps are shown. Uh, so that's pretty much what the tool is. Uh, at this point, are there any are there any questions? Uh, I'm sure there are. Uh, I'm actually going to stop the recording, but keep the stream on.